right, so today I'm checking out this Squire 51. Um, bit of a sort of rarish guitar, not many of these made. Um, these come out in about 2004. Um, it's the, one of the first guitars that Squire sort of made that, that wasn't like a remake of a sort of Fender model. Uh, basically it's a bit of a hybrid of a Strat, Tele and even a P bass, the original incarnation. So let's have a little look. This is a 2005 model finished in a vintage blonde. Um, yeah so you've got the Strat style body. Um, you've got the original incarnation of the P bass pick guard and the control panel. Um, you've got a Strat pickup in the neck position. You've got a Tele style neck pocket and neck with headstock. So the body is basswood. This is finished in a vintage blonde. It's sort of a little bit transparent. I don't know how well you can see this. So you can see the sort of wood grain underneath. Um, this is obviously 14 years old so it's got a few little knocks on it but in general not bad condition. Yeah the basswood body's got a nice weight to it. You've got that one ply black pick guard. Um, originally these come out on this vintage blonde and uh, black and a sunburst and the sunburst and the black come with a white pick guard. The original run of these vintage blonde also come with a white pick guard but they changed them uh, late 2004 to the black because the white ones kept kept um, sort of bowing and lifting up from the body so if you ever get the white one the vintage blonde with the white pick guard they are pretty sought after so yeah spec wise you've got a top loader hardtail bridge it's not the string through um, you've got a hot humbucker on the bridge position you've got a strat pickup on the neck position um, the bridge spacing is slightly narrower so the strings sit directly over the pickups and that's why the um, the strat style pickup is at an angle so it all sort of lines up it's pretty much like a Gibson sort of width in terms of the spacing so the controls um, again you've got the the original P bass style tone control there so the first control is your master volume uh, your second one is like a three-way switch so first position neck put it in the middle that's the both pickups together put it to the back that's just your humbucker and then you've got your split coiling so on the neck in the middle position that humbucker gets split so you've basically got five different sounds there so a very versatile guitar uh, you've got a maple neck 25.5 uh, inch scale so it is a strat tele scale uh, nine and a half radius fingerboard uh, medium jumbo frets, you've got your black dot inlays and your tele style headstock with your modern tuners these are crafted in Indonesia you've got your skunk stripe down the back, bolt on neck but yeah really cool looking guitar, these are getting quite rare now Fender brought out a pawn shop version um, which basically had a thicker body and it had a uh, strat style hardtail so it had the string through body and then Squire reissued them again in 2013. I'm not sure if they're still making them now. Come out in the, the same colours they originally did, plus they brought out a candy apple red. So yeah, really interesting guitar. And um, yeah, I definitely dig these. So they, they, they don't come up very often, especially in a minty, fresh condition. Again, this is pretty good nick. It's got a few little dings on it, but the fingerboard, like the frets, are. Uh, barely even worn in, it's a little bit of wear just sort of around the rhythm playing frets but yeah, price wise um, it's whatever you're willing to pay to be honest you can pick them up anywhere from £150 plus um, I'm not sure what they are new so if you can comment in the comments below and let me know if they do still make them and then if so what price they are because I haven't really looked to be honest but yeah let's plug her in and see what she sounds like right so I've got her all plugged in now um, it's just been sort of set up I've just put a fresh set of strings on so you know it may go out of tune a little bit so you know easy on the comments. Um, I'm going to play a mixture of clean distortion, 
uh, through the five different positions. So I'll play a bit of clean, neck, middle, then I'll do the middle position with the cool splitting turned on, then I'll do the bridge and the bridge again with a cool splitting. So yeah, I'm going to play a bit of rhythm, hit the looper pedal, do a bit of lead over the top. So start off playing a bit of clean and this is the neck position. Okay, so this is the middle position, so the neck and the bridge pick up together. Okay, so we're still in the middle position, but this time we've got the cool splitting turned on. Okay, so we've just done the bridge pickup on its own now. Okay, so this is the bridge position with the cool splitting turned on. Right, so we're going to play with a bit of distortion now, so again, back to the neck pickup.
onto the middle position now, so just a single coil and a humbucker together. <laughs> position now but with a cool splitting turned on. Bridge pick up on its own. Still on the bridge pickup, but just the cool splitting turned on now. There you go, that was a Squire 51, um, hybrid of a Strat, Tele and a P-Bass, pretty uh, sick looking guitar if you ask me, um, yeah I'm digging the colour as well, the vintage blonde, sort of a, it's got a transparent sort of look to the paint so you can see the, the wood grain under, but yeah, black pit guard, just one ply, again if you get the white one of these, white pit guard on a vintage blonde, they are pretty sought after, um, Strat style, uh, pick up on the neck position, angled to uh, line up against the strings. Uh, you've got your humbucker on the bridge with split coiling. Uh, hardtail top loading bridge. Again, it's been made a bit narrower than a standard bridge to get the strings to sit over the pole pieces there. Master volume, you've got your three way dial there. Cool splitting. Basswood body. Really does look nice. Maple neck, 25.5 inch scale, 9.5 inch radius, medium jumbo frets. It's got your Tele style headstock there, with your modern tuners crafted in Indonesia. Truss rod, skunk stripe down the back there. Got your Squire decal on the the bolt on neck plate. But yeah, pretty badass guitar. So let me know. What you think in the comments below, whether you like the single coil on the neck 
the humbucker, split coiling, middle position, whatever. Clean, distorted, let me know what you think to it. Um, again, these are few and far between. Original run was 2004 to about 2006. Um, Fender brought out a pawn shop version, um, which did come out for quite a bit of money, I remember rightly. Um, and these were reissued again in about 2013. Again, I'm not sure if they still make them, so let me know if they do. And when they did reissue them, they also brought out the candy apple red. But yeah, pretty nice guitar. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I've got uh, another Epiphone coming up very soon. So keep an eye out for that one. But yeah, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you ain't already done so. And uh, click the notification bell so you stay up to date on all the new videos. Please like the video. Um, follow me on Instagram, The Meat Manifesto. Because I put loads of pictures of guitars and stuff up there. And that's about it really. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.